Hey folks, Roland Martin. Hey, today's fishing destination is deep in the heart of the Everglades. Now, I wish I were in my, my big Z21 nitro boat, but this is an area where you can't use a gas motor. This is an area where I can just walk on the bank, I can take a canoe, I can take a trolling motor, but I can't take a big bass boat. So I'm going to show you a few things about some fly rod fishing because deep here in the Florida Everglades there's some beautiful bass to be caught on popping bugs. And that's our story for today is popping bug fishing both from the bank and possibly from a canoe a little bit later in the show. So let's get started. I got a couple different combinations here. I have the regular pe pex popper on a uh, on an eight weight rod, a nine weight line by the way and I'll explain that later. And I have a, a Dave Whitlock hand-tied uh, deer-haired popper that's a really kind of a rare thing, a little weedless. And, uh, and it's, it's on a uh, nine-weight line and an eight-weight rod. Okay, let's get started. I don't know what they're gonna bite. I really don't know. I might just take the Whitlock fly just to start. Now, a lot of times fishing the banks, you know, everybody thinks you have to cast the other side. Well, there's also fish on this side. That's why I'm not right up on the shoreline. I mean, I think there's possibly a bass or two right along here. So I'm going to make some little small casts to start with just to kind of get started. And to do that, I'm just going to just kind of load the rod up with just a little bit and just throw a cast right out there. First cast of the day. I don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going, going on right now. The, the little popping bugs right in the water just kind of floating along. We'll see what happens. Okay. Now, I want to work this first little area right here because there might be a bass just right here. Let's see what happens. A little bit of current today. Notice the current. That's good. That's a good sign when you see a little current like this. Oh, something swirled at it. That was a small fish of some sort. Uh oh. Oh, I got one. I got a bass. Yes, sir, son. Yes, sir, that's what it's all about. Watching these little old bass on a fly rod. And so, see how I'm stripping it? I'm just holding my line right here. I'm just stripping the thing back in. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Although, I tell you, the fly rod fishing is just a lot of fun. Just be careful. Okay, let's see what happens. Nice little bass. He ate that thing so well couple pound bass not much to them okay here you go okay a nice little bass I'm gonna throw them right back right there okay now let me uh, let me explain what I have here I've tied this leader and it's a uh, you start off with a tapered leader and what I do I tie a, a little nail knot which is uh, not not too hard to tie and in this first part of this line this nail knot is super glued is on there as well. This is heavy duty, like 50 pound line. That's a 50. The reason why it's heavy, it makes the fly turn over better. Then we go to a little section of about 30 and then back down to about 15. Okay, so it's kind of tapered. Okay, now, hope there was a fish right there. Something hit. I saw one hit right there. They're all the way to the other side. I can't hardly really get there. There's one. There's one. 
I got a bass. I got a bass. Yes, sir, son. Come on. Yes, sir. Do you notice how I'm fighting them in? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. 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 Come on, bass. Come on, bass. I got a lot of grass here. Come on. Just have to kind of reel them across the grass here. Yes, sir. <laughs> now we're talking. I'll tell you what, folks. Fly rod fishing is it's more difficult than than traditional fishing. And you know, you don't catch quite as many. You know, that you know, in a tournament format, no, you would never win a tournament on a, a fly rod against, say, a Cinco. You're gonna catch more fish on a Cinco. But it's just it's just a challenge. It's a challenge and it's also a lot of visual action to be able to watch that popping bug on top and just it's just it's just kind of one on one with the fish. It's just a, it's just a whole different ball game. Let me see if I can't get another one out there. Pop it along with the current, take it down. Let the current take it down. Come on, bass. You notice I have eyeglass wear. Now, you know, one thing when you're fishing a popping bug or any kind of fly fishing at all, you have a fly going through the air at about 50 miles an hour that could get you in the eye. So you always have to have eyewear. And that's really important. The other thing I have is a good hat, of course, to keep, you know, anything out of my my eyes and ears as well. So anyway, I'm pretty well protected. And to make the cast up, I'm doing kind of a little double haul thing. I'm coming back, okay, and I come back forward and take this left hand and kind of shoot the rod out, shoot the line out. Okay. Just let it drift. Kind of pop it along. Okay, let me just make it a cast right there, and I'll just make a nice little double haul right there, right to that spot. Okay, kind of hit the, keep my rod low. I keep my rod right to the water almost. Kind of pop it along. Huh. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, son, he's got it. Good one. Oh yeah, look at that, nice bass. Woo, son. That's what we're talking about. Now we're talking. That is, that's the visual action I'm talking about, fly rod fishing. That, oh, we got off. Okay, it doesn't make a difference. When they get off like that, that's, that, that was the deal. Having to come up and jump and do all the things that he did, that was just perfect. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Nice pass. But, you never know, we could get a great big one doing this. Not just little bitty ones. I mean, these are nice bass. It could be bigger. <sighs> Ooh, I had one. I had one right there. You know, you can get a, a pretty inexpensive fly rod. Uh, for example, if you go down and get these kits at, at Bass Pro Shop, for example, for about a hundred or a little over a hundred dollars, you can get complete rod. In fact, this whole outfit right here didn't cost but a, like a hundred dollars. And uh, it's a it's a nice little. It's called the Crosswater Series. It's a Reddington rod, not a bad rod. It's a, a, the line, the whole thing. You can get all set up, pretty cheap. Okay, let's try another one here. Let's see what we can do. Right across that side. Oh, 
I got them. I got them. I got them, son, right on the bank. That's what I was trying to do. Trying to show you that there's fish people aren't often catching real close. And that's what I was doing with that cast. I was just working this little edge right here. And just, uh, there could be another one right here. And just, just right here, just close in. See what happens. Oh, there's one. Oh, nice one. Ah, darn. Oh, he got it. He's got it. Nice one. Nice. Look at the big size of that bass. Look at that size. Right close to the bank. Yes, sir. Look at that guy. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is big time. Big time bass fishing. Big time. Look at this size of him. Oh, son. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Yes, sir. Good one. Good one, son. Okay, nice bass. Heavy enough leader if he can get. Look at this guy. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's what. This is what fly fishing is all about. That's the kind of fish that you can catch on a popping bug. And sometimes you catch them a lot bigger than this. This is a decent bass, but he's hooked good. Yeah, that's that's beautiful, beautiful fish. Sometimes, sometimes there's more than one fish here. So let's let's let this one go, nice and easy. Okay, let's get the popping bug all squared away. Make sure it's in good shape. Okay. Beautiful bass. Now there's pepper grass. If you notice, I have these polarized glasses on, not only for eye protection, but so I can see in the water. And one of the things that I'm keying on is that, that right out about five or six feet is pepper grass. And pepper grass is really good grass for bass. And so I try to find pepper grass when I can. I got one, I got one, I got a big one. I got a nice one, oh yeah. He sucked it down, son, he sucked it down. Yes, sir. That's a good one there, boys. Another big one. He just barely, you could barely see him hit it. I mean, a nice one, too. Look at this guy. Big old bass. Big old bass. Big old bass. Come back, turn back the other way. Oh my gosh, he's in the, he's in the bushes. He's in the bushes. He's in the bushes, oh gosh. Woo! He's a good one. Yeah, yeah, look at that guy. Look at that guy. <laughs> I'm telling you what, folks. That's a, that's a good bass. That's a good bass. And he hit out in the middle. He hit out in the middle. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's a nice bass. Look at that. You know, another, another thing I always do, down here in the Everglades, you always wonder, this is a catch and release place. Well, for me it is. You can keep them. But I like to see if they've ever been caught before. So a lot of times I'll look at their mouth and I'll see that on his mouth, there's no other hook mark that I can see. So that's really a good sign. That means uh, pretty virgin fish. Oh boy, nice one. What happened? Well, when I threw back, when I threw back, that what well, I didn't get one is that I caught some of that pepper grass I was talking about. So you got to have that thing clear. I don't know why that was a nice bass. It bit. He just missed it. That's a problem with anything weedless. When it's weedless like this, sometimes you miss them. I got him, I got him, son. I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him, yes, sir. I got him, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> Look at that guy! <laughs> Look at that guy! Come on, bass! Oh, look what I did. I set the hook so good, I didn't even get him in the mouth. I got him in the side of the body. <laughs> he kind of rolled at it and missed it. And I went ahead and set the hook good. Okay, I'm going to try to throw the thing back. I don't want to scare him. I just throw him back right there. Okay. They're hitting right here on the bank. Right here on the bank. I got one, 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 I got one. Yes, sir. I tell you what, folks, this fly fishing is something. You know, uh the other day I went out in my canoe and I had a really, really outstanding time in a different part of the Everglades, and uh I was using some of these same lures, but I was fishing out of a small canoe. Hey, so we'll see you again soon. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Hey, you guys are great. You girls are great. Thank you. We'll see you again soon.